Did you know that you could organize files into different folders in Google Drive? Yep, one file can actually be housed in this multiple folders. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place a file into multiple folders. You might come across this situation if you are having, if your administrator is requiring you to turn in lesson plans to a shared folder. You may already have a folder where you want to keep those lesson plans, but you also have to put it into the shared administrator folder. So how can you do this without actually making a copy of the document? It's very easy. In this video, I'm going to show you some different ways that you can organize your files into multiple folders. So I've already gone ahead and created a lesson plan for next week. And the first way I'm going to show you is actually organizing from within the document itself. So with your document open, you'll go to the file menu and you'll click move to a folder. This will list all of the folders that you currently have in my drive and it tells me that the item is currently in my drive. I can see that my drive has a check mark in front of it that tells me that the document is now in my drive. I have created a lesson plans folder where I want to keep all of my lesson plans. So to move that document from my drive to the lesson plans folder, I simply need to click the folder. Now the check mark is in front of the lesson plans folder. My administrator also wants me to turn in my lesson plans to the shared this folder that is shared between him and I. That is this folder down here. I can tell that this is a shared folder because it has a little person icon on the folder itself. I want the lesson plans to be in my lesson plans folder. He wants the lesson plans to be in this folder. So I don't have to make a copy of this document. I can actually place this document into multiple folders at the same time. To do this, I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and I'm going to click the shared lesson plan uh, folder. Now you can see check marks are in front of both the shared lesson plan folder and my personal lesson plan folder. That means this document is now part of both folders. I've not had to make a copy of the document. It's the same document now available in both folders. I'll go ahead and click move. And now when we go back to file and move to a folder, again, we'll see that this item is currently in the, the shared folder and my personal folder. I can do the same thing in my drive list. Here are my lesson plans. When I check this box, notice that it gives me some action items across the top of my screen. If I click the folder, which says move to, it's going to bring up my folder list and I can follow the same procedures. I can click the lesson plans folder. That's where I want my lesson plans and I can control click my shared lesson plans folder so that it also goes to the administrator, uh, to the administrator in charge. And if I click move, we will see that that document is now part of, it's been added to and uh, with and now shared in the Smith lesson plan. So if I open up my lesson plans folder, there is my document. If I open up the Smith lesson plans folder, here's Smith lesson plans, there is the document.